when one hydrogen is replaced by halogen atom in organic compound so such compound is known as alkyl halides basically alkyl halides are the derivatives of alkane in alkane one hydrogen is replaced by halogen halogen may be chlorine fluorine bromine and iodine the general formula for representation of alkyl halides are cn h2n plus 1 and x where x represent al halogen atoms and it it is functional group for example this we have the first member of alkane ch4 if we replace one hydrogen by halogen atom so it will become CH3 and X. First, this alkane have their own property. Now, if we add this halogen, the whole property has been changed. So here, functional group is halogen because it completely changed the chemical properties of organic compound. And here, N represent number of carbon atoms. According to general formula of alkane, we, are, we have CN H2N plus 2. But here this is 1 because 1 hydrogen is replaced by X. So this was little bit discussion about alkyl halide. Now we will move toward our topic, reactivity of alkyl halide. So first, we will look at the structure of alkyl halide. So this is CH3. Our simple we have R which represent alkyl group and there is X which is halogen. R may be methyl, ethyl, propyl, etc. So for simplicity we will take the first member which is methyl CH3 and here we will take chlorine or fluorine any halogen atom and we know that Halogen atom are more electronegative. Electronegative. And carbon is less electronegative than halogen. And we know that electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract the shear pair of electron toward itself. So here what will happen? This we have carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, this three hydrogen. And here we have chlorine. So shear pair of electron will attract toward itself by chlorine. So chlorine and chlorine there will be negative charge in, and carbon positive charge will appear. So here basically polarity has been created. Due to this polarity alkyl halides are more reactive. So now what will happen? Nucleophile can easily attack on carbon. Nucleophile is basically negative species which love nucleus basically which love positive charge so when nucleophile attack on carbon so it can easily replace this weak nucleophile chlorine is also nucleophile because it has negative charge so if we take the example of nucleophile for example OH group when OH attack on methyl chloride so it will replace chlorine so what will give it give it will give ch3 oh plus chlorine so it gives us methyl alcohol or it is also known as methanol this is basically attacking new nucleophile And this is leaving nucleophile. So due to this polarity, alkyl halides are more reactive. Now if you look at the order of reactivity, and we know that halogen are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And the, another one is is 13 which is uh, less electronegative that's why that atom is not considered here 
So the other ambiguity is like in this way that alkyl iodide are more reactive than alkyl bromide and that is more reactive than alkyl, um, alkyl chloride and alkyl chloride are more reactive than alkyl fluoride. The reason here is we know that the reason here is a burnt energy. And we know that greater the burnt energy, greater burnt energy, that will be less electronegative. Uh, that will be less reactive. For those species which have greater burnt energy, so they will require large amount of energy for breaking the burn. So that will be less reactive. And we know that the burn energy for alkyl iodide is uh, 228, for al alkyl bromide is 290, for alkyl chloride is 346, and for alkyl fluoride is 467. So here alkyl fluoride has high greater burn energy. Why they have greater electro burn energy? Because fluorine is more electronegative. So they attract the shear pair of electron, they bond the shear pair of electron tightly to itself. So we need to give larger amount of energy to release that electron. In this way, 346 is the burn energy of fluorine. So that's why it is less re um, uh, reactive than fluorine. So in this way, we can find the reactivity of alkyl halide through burn energy. So this was all about the reactivity of alkyl halides. Thanks for watching.